Liberty head coach Dr. Dot Richardson joins us now. Uh, a woman with a resume that is so extensive, time prohibits us from getting too deep into it. <laughs> Dot, great to see you. Oh. You too, Matt. Great to see you guys. Thanks for having me on the show. So we could we could certainly do a whole uh, show on your your accomplishments uh, as a surgeon, as an Olympic star, as a coach, and an athlete. But we want to talk to you about your your team. Uh, the Flames are pretty good, and you've been there for a decade, kind of in the growth period of college softball at Liberty, and now as a dominant player in the field. Uh, talk about your team. Yeah, it's been really amazing, you know, just starting at UCLA, winning the first NCAA championship ever offered to women in sport back in 1982. And then now to be coaching a team that, you know, we were ranked 25, 25th in the country RPI at the end of the season last year. And just really so blessed to be able to coach this team. They have a heart for the Lord and they have a passion also for the game. Hey, hey Dot, when Matt mentioned your resume, and believe me, people out there, it's pretty packed. Um, being the head coach and bringing these gals into a school, is there ever a time where you have to look at them and, and tone yourself down and say, okay, they're not me. Um, I'm in a different world right here. Because a lot of the big league managers were the, were the grunt squad, the F troop, the, the utility players, the backup catcher that realized the game was hard. And I know you know that, but your resume doesn't necessarily say that. How do you view these girls when they come in where yeah, you kind of uh, set yourself back a little bit? Yeah. Well, the interesting thing is I had to realize, you know, I've had my time and it's now their time. And for me, I just want to instill in them to recognize the gifts God's given them in the sport and to seize every opportunity that they can get. And in doing that, you are just honoring the gifts that you have been given. And it's so fun to be able to see the growth of the sport. But you're right, at times I always wonder, you know, why don't they have the passion that I had um, and still have actually. But it's so fun to be able to share that with them and see that passion grow. And, uh, you know, this team is dynamic, you guys, very dynamic. Uh, we've got speed, consistency. We've got at the plate a lot of power, as well as that speed to complement it well. Um, in the circle, we're deeper than ever uh, with five pitchers, and they all look fantastic. Catching-wise, we have a couple catchers that are big bat as well. So, you know, yeah, it's very interesting with my career and uh, being able to continue to give back to the game, which is what you guys just talked about, the NFCA, and everybody did basically – um, you know, yesterday to give back to the community. It's all about giving back, right? It, it, it is. Uh, you've always been on top of that, part of college athletics for sure. And, and, you know, I mean, I don't have to tell you, women's college sports, no different than men's college sports in terms of the competition in recruiting athletes. So your experience as a head coach at Liberty, uh, when you're going into the home of a prized recruit, do you bring the Olympic gold medals with you? I mean, they know who you are when you ring the doorbell. How does that go? Well, if they don't, um, their parents do. <laughs> <laughs> but talk about recruiting. I mean, I know it's very competitive. The field is very competitive. You have a really larger-than-life kind of um, um, aura about you within the sport. That has to be an advantage for you. Yeah, it really is. We have a couple advantages at Liberty University. You know, number one, we're the largest Christian university in the world. And so there are a lot of people that are looking forward to being in a conservative environment with faith based uh, people loving God and loving people, you know, and that is in, an attraction in itself. But also um, the university gives a lot of resources to each of the sports. And we are blessed to be able to um, have the advantage of that. I mean, you look at our stadium, it's one of the top in the country. In fact, we were, were rewarded for being the top in the country this past year. Um, but also just the coaching staff is amazing. Associate head coach Casey Fagan-Graham and assistant coach, Coach Sammy Fagan. Also, Emily Kirby, uh, just resources, director of ops, player development, development of pitching development, uh, director. I mean, you just name it. The resources are there. And you guys, being on MLB Network, I mean, it's awesome getting that game, ESPN, all those other things. But... MLB, we're really excited about being a part of what you guys are doing. And uh, the sport, you guys, is just, I mean, I heard we're the third most viewed sport in NCAA football, then men's basketball, then 
women's softball and uh, the the records and attendance. It, it's just, it's awesome to see the growth and be a part of it and to be given back to it.